Welcome back to the Bookends YouTube channel. I'm James McGowan. Hi, I'm Jessica Faust. We are literary agents who have taken our popular blog to YouTube to discuss all things publishing. And today we are talking about agency websites. So not every querying author visits an agent's website. And I'm going to tell you how we know. <laughs> we know because we get the Twitter DMs, the Instagram DMs, the Instagram comments, the Twitter replies, the the um, email queries, we get the queries that are outside of how, or the questions that are outside of what we normally do or what's written on our website. My favorite thing is the, um, the social media, however you reach out. How do I reach you? How about the link to the website in my bio? <laughs> yes. If we, so most, if not all agents have our website links in our bios on social media. So if you're finding us on social media, you can go to our website. And I mean, no snark, right? Like this is just actual <laughs> advice. Well, and, and I get why authors don't do it, right? Yeah. They're like, I found you on social media. This is so much easier. I don't want to do the legwork of going to all the websites of all the agencies because that seems like a lot. Yes, but, but in reality, <laughs> run with are, it, James. you're kind of, kind of a little bit shooting yourself in your own foot, right? Like you're wasting your own time a bit because if an agent responds to you in some of those um, platforms, they're going to tell you, visit the website, query me through the regular query channels. So what we think is very important for every querying author to do is use social media to find the agents, put them on a list, go to their website and find out how to properly do it. Um, but, so and this wanted, isn't just for us. Like, this isn't just like, hey, make things easier for us. Go to our website. It is beneficial to you to do all of this legwork as your, sorry, Olive found a bone. <laughs> yep. Because <laughs> she lays and sleeps all day long until now. <laughs> anyway, um, you know, this is beneficial to you in your search for a business partner. So something we talk about um, when it comes to author websites all the time is how fleeting social media and, and the internet in general is. We always say, the, well, you always say, and I've just adopted, the one thing that you can control, I gotta be honest, the one thing that you can control online is your website. The only thing you can control online. That is the only place where you can consistently control the messaging and what's being put out there. And the same yeah. is true for any individual agent or any agency as a whole. We can't control social media or when you're seeing blog interviews or tweets or anything along those lines. We can only control the information on the website. So... It is in every agent's best interest and most likely their top priority to keep their website as up to date as possible. Yeah. And, and, and it's not just what we're looking for, which is probably your number one reason for going to the website. But I think more so than on social media, you can really get an idea of who the agent is on a professional level um, by going to the website and seeing who they are, what they do, but also little things like, how does their website look? Does it look professional? Does it, you know. Very important. I'm a, web, I'm a bit of a website snob, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. But when you go to a website, it, it should, it is your online resume. It should look professional, sleek, up-to-date, modern. Like that's what you want in a website. Yeah, and, and then when you go to the agent's website, you should also be able to see who they represent which you're not necessarily going to get a full picture of through social media. Sometimes not at all. I know some agencies will post a lot on Instagram, their clients. We don't tend to do a lot of that because the truth is what we found is most authors want to find that on our website. They're not as interested in seeing it on social media. Yeah. And I mean, at the end of the day too, an agency's job is to like with their social media and their website is to make querying authors want to query us, right? Like, the readers and getting selling books through our website, like uh, uh, gaining exposure for clients is always great, but it's not our first focus. No, so, and it's, it doesn't really, that's not why people follow us, to be honest. No, no. And in reality, they're not coming to us for book suggestions. They're coming for us for career development. So despite the fact that we just did a whole video on what we read. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> sometimes we have to have fun. <laughs> Um, so yeah, when you come to an agency's website, there are a few things that you're looking for. You want to read about the agency. You want to know 
sort of how long it's been an agency, what their sort of general approach to agenting is. And then you wanna read about the specific agents and who might be the best fit for you in determining so you're probably reading their bio paragraphs, getting a sense of who they are, like Jessica said, and their wish list on the submissions page, what they're looking for, the kind of books that they actively represent. Um, that's the whole point of the website. That is the whole point of the website. And then, yeah. and then you can find out their preferences and querying. Do they want email? Do they use query manager? Do they still use snail mail? And do you really want to work with an agency that still only does snail mail? <laughs> do they still snail mail to the publisher? Because what's going on? <laughs> Oh, right. I tell, we talk about it often. I just cannot imagine doing that. But another video, another time. <laughs> we do love talking about that. We do. Um, yeah. So I mean, this is how this is how you determine whether the agent is a fit. It's not yeah. through social media. It's not through um, you know seeing them at a panel. It's really through going to their website and reviewing their whole persona as a professional in this industry. And then determining is it someone you're worth querying and yeah, i know so, go ahead well, i was gonna say if you do a google search for me for example or find me through social media you're gonna find 20 years worth of information and a lot of it has not been updated so you may go oh look she does romance and ya except i haven't taken on new clients in either romance or ya for a bajillion years right so but if you go to the website you will very easily see she does not do romance or ya <laughs> It's true. And, and I think there's always the, the thought around doing this level of work that you're doing more work than you should have to do. But I actually think it's kind of the opposite. Like, I think I this think is saving you from doing the work, right? Saving you from unnecessary rejection, but also helping you get an understanding of who the players are in the publishing industry. So yeah, in fact, get off social media. Quit looking for agents on social media and start just looking for agency websites. You can go to a place like Query Tracker, which gives you a ton of information on agencies. You can pull up all the agencies and just probably click through straight from Query Tracker directly to so. their websites and spend your time doing your research and creating your submission list and your um, databases from that instead of going through Twitter and trying to weed through endless information most of which is not important to you and go straight to the sources yeah especially because not every querying author lands an agent on their first book right so you're kind of helping future you out if you have to query another book you're just yeah. making you're like i said you're gaining a foundation of knowledge of who the key players are in publishing so, and you're going to learn a lot about the business along the way <laughs> absolutely i mean like not to brag here but look at our so like our website right or we'll brag we'll brag, we'll so brag. <laughs> look at our website if you go to our website there's the blog you can have all the links to our youtube channel there's plenty of information that you might find out and learn um, from yeah. anybody else's website as well or yeah a lot of agencies will include other resources and even some include other agencies right. so there's a ton you can find from an agent's website that if you haven't been there yet, you're missing out on. Yeah, absolutely. So final line, bottom line, whatever it's called, never skip the agent's website. Don't send a query without looking at their website. Um, but happy querying. Yeah, good luck. We'll see yep. you on the website. Yeah, and we hope to see you back here next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.